Hey what's up YouTubers and welcome to K-Tech Tips. Today I'm going to show you how to use the oxygen theme in WordPress.com. This has to be one of the most difficult themes I've used and it's really finicky but with these few easy to follow tips uh, you'll be on your way to making your cool website. Uh, so you should be logged in. This is my my website. Uh, I'm still developing it. I like to develop my websites in WordPress and then transfer them over to their own hosting service. Uh, but right now this is what the site looks like. As you can see this has to be this is the, probably the part where what you guys are finding most difficult is to get it set up like this. Uh, before we even begin, you will need a minimum of seven posts in order to test to make sure everything works correctly. Uh, so make sure you have those posts ready to go. Uh, now let's go to our dashboard. All right, before we begin, uh, make sure in your dashboard and you need to go to all pages. Uh, right over here. So let's go back a little bit. All pages, and you need to make a home page. This could be either called a home or front page, and then you have to edit that page. Once you're here, you need to go to the right over here and go to template. Under template, you have to go to showcase and have that click like so. And then make sure you update it and that's all you need to do. Now we need to go to settings. So go to the left and go to settings and just click on that. After that, you need to go to reading. So go to settings and then reading. And change your front page display to static, a static page. And then for your front page, select home like so. Uh, and then you can just save this and you're good to go. Now your WordPress theme will look like this. And there's one more thing you have to do to every single post. Uh, so let's go back to our dashboard. Oh, sorry. Back to our dashboard. Uh, let's go to our posts, all posts. Okay, so this is, uh, so the oxygen theme, it only displays six of the latest posts in the slideshow. So after your first six posts, they're going to start showing up in the bottom. So let me just show you what I mean by that. So as you can see, this only has six posts that are going to slide through this massive like display. After that, the, the older posts are going to be in the bottom, like so. All right. So what you need to do is you need to make every single, the, your latest post into a sticky post. So if you go back over here, we go to our post, as you can see, a sticky by it. Uh, only the first six have sticky because uh, if you put sticky on the seventh one or the eighth one, it won't show up anywhere on their site. So only the first six of your posts, the latest, the newest six, can be sticky posts. Uh, so let's go to edit for our posts. And we need to. to go on visibility and click on edit and you need to click this right over here to make it a sticky post now remember only your top six posts your newest six posts can be sticky posts so let's say I want to add a new post right now and have seven sticky posts I'm gonna to have to make my my last sticky post into a non sticky post because otherwise it won't display anywhere on the site uh, one more thing you might want to know how to do is get this menu right over here uh, this menu is a little bit difficult, but you go to appearances and you go to menus in your dashboard, of course. And then you can uh, create a new menu, uh, manage locations, that kind of stuff. Uh, and you'll be adding your custom things into it. Uh, I'm going to go edit my other one because it's easier to edit. So we can create a new menu right over here, or we can just edit ones that we already have. Uh, as you can see, I have all these links and these... Uh, this is the primary menu, which is these tabs up on top. And the primary menu, as you can see, uh, is where I put all my stuff, my separate things. So let's say I, I want to go to tutorials for my website. This is all the posts that's related to tutorials. Uh, if I want to go to reviews, these are all the posts that are related to reviews. If, you, if I want to go to tech news, these are all the articles related to you know news. Uh, gaming, same thing, like so. Uh, videos, every single video I have on my site goes in this tab. Uh, blog, this is basically every single post all in one place. Uh, contact me, about me, you know, that's not really that important. I just go back to home and it goes back to the main page. Uh, so in order to make a menu, I'm going to make one right now, create new menu. Uh, let's call the name. I'm going to call this one bottom because I'm going to put it on the bottom of my site. Uh, just make that, create menu. Okay. Now, uh, where that menu is going to be located is in the bottom right over here. This is where that menu would be located. I like the way how it is right now, but in order to make your menu come up on the left side over here or the top side, uh, like I said, remember, the primary menu is my menu that's on top. 
So you're going to have to make that menu in editing menus. It's really easy to make menus. Uh, you just make a menu, so, oh, I'm going to add this stuff to it, uh, add to menu, and it gets added onto your menu. Add links, you could add all this stuff. Just add to menu. Uh, it gets added, you can move it around anywhere. Make it sub menus if you want. Uh, but that's pretty much it for that. Then you would go to manage locations. Yeah, leave this page. Uh, and you would select primary menu, the one on the top. Oh, I made this menu specifically for that, and it goes on top like so. Uh, oh, secondary menu is the menu, the black one right over here. You would select the menu that you made back in edit menus, put it on there. Uh, this one is in the very bottom, so you just select it, and it will be at the bottom. Yeah, so uh, hopefully this uh, this helped out. If you have any questions, just leave it in the comments below. Uh, this is a pretty difficult uh, it's a pretty difficult theme to use, uh, but once you get the basics of it, you're good to go. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like, and that's all. Remember, don't hesitate to ask questions. Uh, yeah, that's all. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.